but good morning i'm actually adventuring outside to do a ride and i don't i don't think i want to it's too cold i've got so used to swift that i'm like i just want to be warm to say it's january though it's like six degrees so not too bad so just getting the bike set up and then we'll go we're going to go california 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 uh called it out basically hilly ride 60k with about 1200 meters elevation so it is going to be hilly that's what we like short sharp get it out of the way we've got big jack steep 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 climb and yeah right let's get on my, i'm just putting it off i'm just trying to you well i just i, just, I don't want to take my warm stuff off also stevie's uh copied me and shows your head unit Woohoo! the uh 1040 solar do you like it? Yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah? Really good. Navigation is spot on. It's so good, right? I love mine. Um, I think because I was on so many rides, I'm like, oh my God, I just love this, I love this. And he's like, okay, I'm going to get one. It is so, so good. It's a 10 Garmin Edge 1040 Solar. <laughs> Actually, this is one of Matt's rides and it's called it Stabby Route from Hebden. We are in Hebden Bridge right now, so. California! It's a bit cold, actually. Fine. I've been riding a few k. Oh my god, it's steep round here. We've got this is one of nine climbs, and they're all tough. And that's why we ride hills. I mean, look at that view. That is worth the the cold and the sweat and the steep climbs but it is the first one so I might be saying that in about 50k but we've got left to go we're riding we're like oh this is so nice I can't believe this is January and then I was like it's actually feeling too easy and I was like damn it I think we've got a tailwind and as we've turned yeah we've got a <laughs> pretty nice tailwind so I'm not looking forward to the way back it's always the way when you know, you're feeling, I'm feeling pretty good on the climb but no we've just got a stonking tailwind because you can't see it also for something you can't see I've got well, I'm wearing something new hello hiya well that you can't see it's something that is so, if you're female you are gonna love this oh, the suspense it's amazing i love it it's a garmin product i will mention that now i am supported by garmin so thank you so much to them this product is oh, i think i love it as much as i love climb pro you know how much i love climb pro but i'll chat to you at the top about it because i can't breathe Another climb. Oh, look how beautiful this is though today. Also, it's something that you've asked me to wear. It sounds, this is gonna sound like it's going down a really dodgy route. It's not. <laughs> it's something that a lot of you have asked me why I don't wear this and I'm finally doing it okay. So that heart rate. Is that your heart rate? Yeah. I don't ever wear heart rate, do I? No. <laughs> on the, honestly, the only time I ever wear a heart rate on it is indoors on Zwift. I can't wait to come back in the middle of summer, short sleeves, sun cream, no gloves, well mitts, but you know what I mean? Look how beautiful it is. That descent was so much fun. Even in winter, even when it's cold. Oh, actually, who's coming down here? I'm so sorry. I'm waiting here so Steve can see. Hi, good morning. Hi, hey, how are you? It never shows on camera, but that is one steepy old hill. Sheepies, hello. So what I was going to talk to you about is you can't see it, but I have a brand new heart rate monitor and it's called HRM Fit. It's Garmin. It is specifically for women. And the reason it's for women is because, and this is, oh, I love this. It clips onto the bottom of your sports bra. So it's kind of like, kind of a half, it doesn't go all the way around. And that is my main reason that I, that I don't wear heart rate monitors outdoors. A lot of you have been stalking my Strava and know that I don't wear heart rate monitors out, outdoors. Hello. <laughs> um, and 
yeah because I just don't I think it's because you have to have them quite tight I just don't like the I just don't like feeling restricted in any way um and I wear, wear it on Zwift like indoors because it's like max a couple of hours and I like having the data but I've never really liked wearing them outside just because especially when outside when you get really sweaty don't know they're really soft fabric it's not that it's not soft it's just that I don't personally like that feeling and so this new one it's so so good I honestly I've known about it for quite a while and I've been like when is it coming out when is it coming out I need it and so now I'm gonna be able to wear it on outdoor, outdoor rides because I know a lot of you you just love looking at all the data so there you go my rides outdoors now will have heart rate monitor it's so so clever love 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 it and yeah if you are a female don't like that feeling as well then you can't even feel it when you're on the bike we were just saying before though like what I always love when you see little sheep or little animals in fields look at that one look at that one just stood looking at me look at it look at it. I always wonder like what are they actually thinking what is that little sheepy thinking where well, it's just stood like this what do they think about it's cold it's cold let's go let's go also I'm gonna add in some um data when we go up big jack i'll show you my heart rate data to show, so you can see how hard i'm working also the reason that i think it's going to be good having heart rate on outdoor rides is because it's extra data and extra metric and heart rate is showing how your body's responding i got a little bit like i wouldn't say poorly just i didn't ride for a while just because i got a really bad like bunged up nose and i had a really bad cough i think it's from being on a ride if, that's the last time i rode outdoors but how long ago was that stevie three weeks a long time and I think I probably pushed it a little bit on that and if I'd had my heart rate monitor then paired up to my Garmin Edge which it is now you saw it earlier then I would have noticed that it was high and I probably could have eased off and then prevented myself getting a little bit poorly so yeah very easy to connect I'll show you how to pair it but really simple and can also pair it you've got yours paired to your watch haven't you Tomorrow. also if you've got a garmin watch which one's that that's nice fenix seven fenix baby Frog. you can also um link your heart rate monitor to that oh hello oh we should go i think this is their farm i know i think just, we're, like, we're just admiring your sheep okay we're gonna go we're gonna go but yeah if you've got a watch you can pair it to that so comfortable so so comfy easy goodbye lovely sheep Gorgeous girl. Oh, We've just chatted to the lady who's these sheep are. She's gonna get food and she's gonna let me feed them. I know. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Their tongues are gross. They're really lucky. <laughs> My day is made. That was unbelievable. <laughs> so, so nice. she's like, oh, come back. Tell us when they were all lambing. Like, I, I, it's sad because I just don't know why they're there, but. I got called, she was chatty. She's more chatty than me. She's chattier than you, Stevie. You'd have been there all day with her. Oh, we can feel that headwind now. Oh my God, it is cold. So oh, amazing, not this wall. Look at that wall with the dip in the middle of it there. What a cool little wall. Look how long it is. Beautiful. You can't see it. I really wish you could. There's a road over there. I'll try and point it out. That is Big Jack, baby how long and pretty it looks but we've got Edwin up it damn the headwind Abba, it was steep it was really hard and to say we've not done anything like that in ages it was steep and I'll give you the real test of whether or not you can feel this heart rate monitor I get a bit um I can't say grumpy I get easily distracted or kind of annoyed on climbs didn't even feel like I had it do you know like if something's clicking or something's rubbing or if I've got sweat on my face just kind of like I try not I try not to think about it didn't even I forgot I even had it on the only thing that bugged me on that climb was Steve chatting car like there was loads of cars and then at the end just him chatting to me heart rate monitor though didn't feel it oh right shall we head down look where we're going now that's the hardest climb of the day done how steep would you say that is 20 odd percent 18 percent yeah it's i think it feels steeper than that yeah. not as steep as the rake but not far off 
the rake is in ram's bottom if any of you've done it let me know i don't even know what this we can't we're gonna call it little jack now because i feel like if you say if you call things big and difficult and hard then they feel harder i'm just gonna call it little jack the sun is coming out there's blue skies you can't see it on camera but there are and i'm feeling good i am ready for spring i don't want any more snow i don't want any more ice i just want beautiful roads like this beautiful climbs and beautiful countryside because i love this so much absolutely blooming phenomenal i'm taking them off everyone's always like you never wear the glasses i always put them on in case it's really bad edwin and it makes my eyes cry so i reckon let's go look my face is in actual sunshine am i in california or am i in denarifi This road is gorgeous. Oh, look at this, we've got sheepies, we've got trees, we've got beautiful views, we've got sunshine. This just makes me so, 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 so excited for summer. Spring, just anything where it's not snowy and icy and rainy. A little fake spring day just for us. Look what Stevie's doing. Stevie is all about the stats at looking at Strava after though. Also, I was looking at actually at Big Jack climbing once Stevie's got a PB on it. I definitely didn't, but I can show you my heart rate to show how hard I was. My little heart was working on there because it was, it was, it was hard. It was tough today, but beautiful route. I'll leave my Strava link below if you want to go and have a look <laughs> at it. And I think that's pretty much it. Also, I'll leave a link to the heart rate monitor if you are female and you want one and yeah you want something that's comfier and you don't really necessarily like the the constriction of one that goes all the way and honestly i don't even know i've got it on so very very impressed i like it a lot i did think honestly when i first saw it the the actual central piece is chunkier than like the other ones and i was like mm, when I, I thought like I'm, when i'm like actually like in a bike position is it going to feel like dig in or am i going to feel it more i don't feel anything i genuinely don't feel like i've got anything on I think that's the thing, it's the back. I hated the back feeling on rides. But yeah, I'm gonna start wearing that. So go and have a stalk of my Strava if you wanna go and look at all my data. Although I didn't I didn't have a power meter on today because that's the bike that I use on the turbo, so I don't need one. So I just chucked it off quickly. But there'll be power, there'll be heart rate, there'll be all <laughs> the data you ever want if you wanna go and have a look at my own Strava. Thanks so much for that, Stevie. And I will see you all next video. The route will be below. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. I know what this climb is called. What is the Strava segment of Big Jack? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you've literally messaged two minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs>